Hey guys. Care to join me while I make a set of wind chimes for Monkey? Stay with me. Okay guys, this is some of the stuff we're going to be using. We've got a two and a half inch hole saw here. That's going to be for the, the clacker thingy that goes in the center. We're going to use some of this pipe here. We've got this aluminum pipe. It's three quarter inch. We've got the saw to cut our wood. And we've got the cut off wheel to cut our pipes. I've got a sander laying down here somewhere. There it is. I've got that in case I need to de deburr these pipes. Um, so, and I got this to make our uh, circle of where where our chimes are going to hang. So I'm going to use this as a template, just draw around it. So this is what we're going to use, guys. So. Uh, it's not really a how-to video as much as it is I'm just going to make monkey something so all right guys so I'm going to get set up here and get started on what we've got to do okay guys this is what I've got I've got this cut five and a half inch square I've got these cut at all different lengths now in the description I will put the dimensions and all that in the description. Um, the website that I got this off of, they said copper, but I'm using aluminum. You can use whatever you want. It just gives it a little different sound. And I've already got them drilled to what they're supposed to be, but I'll leave all that in the description. And I've got this marked out okay for where all my um little hooks are going to go i've cut this three inches long kind of made a little little triangle and i've already got that pre-drilled at the top okay so now this is going to be a three tier this is four and a half inch square and this is two inch square did i say four tier it's going to be a three tier and then the the uh the chimes will hang off of it so I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill these and get the hooks in them oh yeah I also got this okay the clapper thing that moves around back and forth and hits each one of these so I've got that and I'm gonna go ahead and get those those put in there there's the center hole and uh, and then I'll, I'll, I'll show you how I'm going to string these up, okay? They're going to be 7 inches, and I've got some white string for that. It says in the instructions, twine, again, use whatever you want. i got some white string for that. So, let me uh, get these pre-drilled and get my hooks in there. Alright guys, what they want is they want your chime to hang 7 inches from your hook okay from that hole to your hook so what I've done is I've made these 15 inches okay that way it gives me room to tie a knot okay so I've cut them 15 inches that way when I measure it like that it's gonna be roughly seven and a half ish pretty close closer to seven so what I'm gonna do is I, I've drilled a five thirty seconds hole all the way through that through that pipe and I'm going to take one end. Oh, and I've I've took my. This is just uh, it's something like this the cordage you use on your blinds. You know how you're always fiddling around with the blinds; they never want to stay up and all that. That's kind of what this is. Okay, we got a bunch of it over there. So, and I just heated the end of it up and just like that, kind of melted it. So so that way it doesn't fray and it's a lot easier to put through. Now I want to put this through this hole like that. 
and I'm going to make sure it comes up and out just like that okay now I'm going to do the same thing with this side okay look how dirty I got my string already so I'm going to get this stuffed in here I made that one worse. So now I want to take this one on the opposite hole. Now I'm going to take this side on the opposite hole. I'm going to push this up through there the same way and I'm going to bring it make sure it's going up and not down and I'm going to bring it out this end here. See there it is. Is it starting to come up through there? Right there. Push that. Keep going until it comes up through. And I've also deburred these holes the best I could. I just took, uh, after I drilled them, I kind of filed them off a little bit. And then I took this, it's a piece of an old uh, tr uh, trouble or uh, test light that I've got. And I stuck it in there and kind of wallered it around, you can see there. And just kind of made it smooth so it doesn't cut the... So I want these to be even up here at the ends, like that. Or somewhat, you know, close. See, that way it hangs nice and straight, okay? Now I'm just going to tie this into a knot. Maybe. Like this. I know you guys can't see nothing. Bring that around, grab the ends, try to get it up there as close as you can to that. I know the knot, it looks big on here, but it's not, trust me. And see then, like that, and then this will hang off of there just like that. Okay? Alright, now I'm going to do that to the rest of them. And then I'll get back with you and show you how we hang the, the center part with the sail and the clapper. Alright guys, so this is what I did in the middle. It, the, the instructions or whatever didn't say how long that middle piece should be or where this should be at. So I kind of put it in the middle a little bit and I kind of just brought this down about... Oh, you know, another seven inches down to the sail. And, of course, it's not hanging real straight because I just got hanging up here on the garage door for now so I could tie that. And I just ran one string from the center down, and I just double-knotted this thing, so... So we're going to hang it up. over here on the corner of the house and we'll see what it sounds like okay we got a little breeze going it keeps stopping but we'll move it around there
pretty cool. Uh, you know, just a little project you can do. Like I said, this is not really how to. It was just sharing with you what I'm doing. But I will put the description in, uh, down below so you guys can uh, can do it yourself. So there you go. Just something something to play with there. So hopefully she'll like it when she gets home. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye. You guys take care.